Silver Santa and I just got done going through a box of nickels. Uh, this is actually pretty surprising. Uh, we've never pulled this many uh, silver nickels out of a box of nickels before. But these right here. They're all war nickels. I put a roller up there uh, for my customer roll. Uh, just to put them in. Yep. I'm just going to go ahead and count them up here real quick. Was that 23? Mm. Okay, we got 23 war nickels. Um, that's actually the most we've ever pulled from a box before. Uh, I'll show you some of the dates and mint marks on these. Now this one's interesting because when we got it, my dad was like, uh, "Is this one silver?" It has a he thought for sure it has like a, a cement mark right here in the Monticello building. Um, it does. It's very faint, but we can't get an actual date off of it. But it is a San Francisco mint or nickel. just, again, surprising that we pulled that many uh, silver nickels from one box, but... That's just over an ounce of silver. That's just over an ounce of silver right there. Did you drop something? Oh, we're also uh, about to open this box right here. This is a box of quarters. Uh, Doesn't look like we have any enders, sir. Welcome back. We just got done with this box of quarters. We only found one good item in that whole box. Here it is. We got a 1964 90% silver quarter. I actually just researched this coin. It's a Japanese 50 yen. Uh, it has 49 at the bottom, but it's actually a 74, 1974. And it has a copper nickel composition. We've never found one of these before. I think it's got a beautiful design on it. On this episode of BC Life, Silver Santa and I went through eight boxes of half dollars, a box of nickels, a box of quarters, and a whole bunch of customer old coins. We also ended up getting uh, the full Eisenhower dollars. We'll start with them. 
Out of the Eisenhower dollars, we got two of the Type 1 Eisenhower dollars, where they have the box letters rather than the bubble letters. They're a little harder to find than the Type 2s. We got one worn down one, which I'm actually probably just going to end up playing with this one. We us I usually try to take the ugliest one, and then I, I just like to play around with like toning and that to see if I can get them like the rainbow colors, stuff like that. Uh, right now, as this sits, it's only worth face value. If I take and destroy this in any way, it's still only worth face. And I'm again, this is just going to be kept. Someone took and destroyed this one by gold plating it. You can see on the edge where it doesn't have that clad look. I'll go ahead and show you what that looks like. You can obviously see which one's the different one, just looking at the edge. There's, that would be the gold plated one right here. Okay, uh, the next coins we have uh, in the box of nickels there. Uh, my dad ended up finding a proof. It's a 2005S. Uh, we also got a foreign coin out of there. I already shown this earlier in the in the video. Uh, if you don't remember seeing it, you can go ahead and uh, rewind. We ended up uh, then we did the half dollars, and the half dollars we didn't really get much. I got a hold one, uh, another gold plated coin. It's got some counter stamps on both sides here. Once again, you can see on the edge that it is gold plated. We ended up with uh, three wheat pennies going through the customer rolls. We found two 1936s and a 53D. Uh, we got a Toys for Tots Foundation token. Move on to some of the foreign stuff here. I just thought this is a really pretty coin. We got two Canadian quarters, we got two Canadian nickels, we got five Canadian dimes. This one here, I actually thought was going to be silver at first because of the look. Stuck a magnet to it, it sticks to a magnet. This is not silver. 68 was kind of a split year for silver. Uh, some of them are going to be 80% silver, other ones, uh, th they're not silver, they stick right to a magnet. We got an Indian rupee. I was actually going through dollar coins at the time. There's a uh, little, like the little gold dollars and the Susan B. Anthony's. I saw that edge and it's like that's not a dollar coin. I knew right away that was an Indian coin. We got some coins here from the Cayman Islands. We got twenty-five cents and five cents. We also got coins from the Bermuda. We got 25 cents, and we got 5 cents. <laughs> Pretty much the same de denominations from the Bermuda and the Cayman Islands. Okay, now we're going to go on to the silver. Uh, the silver that we found in that nickel box, I mean, this is our best haul for uh, silver nickels. We ended up pulling 23 silver nickels out of that box of nickels. We've never found that many silver nickels in a box before. And then on top of that, we ended up finding two more going through customer rolls. That makes a total of 25 silver nickels. We ended up going through customer rolls, and there's customer rolls of quarters. We ended up uh, finding two silver quarters. And then in that box, we ended up pulling a third one. And out of all those half dollars we wanted, we found one silver half dollar. Now that's pretty low. <laughs> I know sometimes we can go through a box and pull a couple of these. Other times you can go through eight boxes and find one. In some cases, nothing. It just seemed like we did a lot of work this week as far as half dollars go. And we only got one silver. 
Now, as you all might know, I am a Trump supporter, so I ended up going to a Trump rally this weekend. Um, one of the things I got there, they were handing these out at the Trump rally while I was standing in line. It was raining, the weather was kind of nasty. There was a guy actually handing these out. I just thought this was kind of cool. I had to add it to, uh, I have to add it to my collection. I put it in the plastic thing on my own. We have the plastic protectors. This is a bank note I picked up this week. It's a 1934A. This one's real, uh, real legal tender. This is uh, not really real. It's just kind of like a commemorative thing. I also got this. Just thought they're kind of cool. While I was there, I also bought a Trump hat. I really like this design. All these uh, emblems and everything, they're raised. And this just kind of, the presidential seal, it just kind of reminds me of like the silver half dollars. It's a really nicely made hat. I think I paid 25 for that. It's beautiful. I'm probably not going to be wearing it too much because white kind of shows dirt. And with metal detecting and the job that I do and everything, I get I get dirty a good bit. So that's probably going to be something I'll wear like uh, just when I'm going nice places or whatever. And I also went and bought some silver this week. Now these are pretty cool. I got a silver lion. This is actually poured silver. It's by MK Bars. It's .999 fine silver. And it's five troy ounces. I saw this at the at the at the coin shop I went to, and it was one of those things. It's just like I have to see that. I'd asked for the uh, dealer to pull out the silver round that he had there. Well, it's not really a round. It's a poured bar, hand poured bar. They also had these too. These are also hand poured. I mean, just look at the detail on this. I almost want to call it a coin. It's not a coin. Again, it's hand poured silver. And this is by Rick's Metalworks. This is 1.93 troy ounces of silver. Again, that's uh, nine or 999 silver. It's a pretty thick coin and it's raised and everything. I'd asked if they had any uh, coin protectors or protectors for these there. He actually didn't have any at the time. He, he had one, but they'd be kind of loose. Uh, if it's loose, it's going to get dinged up and everything, uh, shaking around in there. Kind of cool, though. Got another one. This one here is a uh, 1.70 troy ounce. Again, it's 999 silver by Rick's Metalworks. Now, if you... If you've never looked these guys up before, I did have to. I did look them up when I got home. They have all kinds of pretty cool uh, rounds and everything. Again, that's Rick's Metalworks, uh, and this one here was uh, MK Bars. There's plenty of YouTube's that, or YouTube channels that uh, show some of the different bars that MK Bars creates. And he does some. Well, the people do some pretty cool uh, bars in that, and it's all hand poured. Which means it's all melted down by hand and poured into like a and poured in like these uh, dyes and that it's beautiful. Uh, I, again, I'd recommend you going and checking them out. But overall, that's been this week. Thank you for watching.